Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Hydrogen at Home. Uh, since my last video, I've uh, done a few more things. I've done some stuff to this lid. Uh, I've added two power terminals at each end and uh, a pipe. So that's uh, pretty much ready to try out. The other thing I've been doing is uh, I decided to take my own advice and revisit some older cells and see if I can get them working a bit better just by tweaking them. I came back to this cell that I made a while ago. Um, I've seen cells similar to this uh, on YouTube that have had some good results, but I could never get it working very well. Um, but I fiddled around it heaps more, changed the spacings, and ended up settling on um, having two neutral plates. There's five plates here, but only four of them have been used. So you basically got positive, neutral, neutral, negative, and this last plate's nothing. So I'll chuck that in. I'll show you how that's going. Okay, I'll turn that on. So yeah, I wasn't getting much out of this cell at all, and just from changing the spacings and um, then watching it and then changing it a bit more and watching it again, it's doing a pretty good job now. And that is sitting right about on two amps, between two, two and a half amps. And I reckon that's doing pretty good. What I might um, do next is actually make more of these plates, or similar to these plates, and um, try and fill up the whole bolt with <clears throat> take the whole bolt worth of plates and um, see how it goes. And there it is. Nice cube. That took a lot of um, work to build. I basically just uh, skipped forward in the video. That last little bit of video you saw from was actually from yesterday. This is the next day. And I'm going to wire that up now and give it a shot. And I will bet you that it won't do much of anything. I haven't tried it yet. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm betting it'll probably draw 9 amps, 10 amps, and um, probably won't do too much, but uh, we'll see. Okay, she's all wired up and ready to go. I flick the switch. Lots of medium sized bubbles. Looks like quite a lot of bubbles are getting trapped. It is wanting to work. It's like it's pushing it out at a fairly fast rate, just not a lot of hydrogen bubbles. And it's sitting on eight, eight and a half amps. No, yeah, about there, about eight amps. What I'm going to have to do now um, is go through each of these cells one at a time. And uh, I'm happy with the spacings and I'm happy with the configuration, but now I'm going to go through with um, a screwdriver or something and, and bend the plates around until each cell performs as well as it can. Turn that off. It's now sitting, it's now sitting on about 9 amps. Warmed up a bit. So yeah, that's that's the reason why I haven't um, put bolts through here yet. That's what these holes are for, put bolts through. Um, but I haven't put them in yet because I want to be able to test uh, each cell separately. 
Um, I also noticed when I was mucking around with this cell that it actually helps if the plates weren't necessarily all perfect and even and, and straight and all that kind of stuff. So I haven't worried about that too much with this. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm going to try and tweak that and show you how it all turns out on the next video. And um, if I'm correct, um, hopefully I'll be able to show you how to uh, tweak your own cell if you've got one that's not really working too well. Um, I'm pretty sure I might have nutted it out. But yeah, we'll see. And I'll see you next time.